So in this problem, uh, we've been given that f of x is equal to x take away 3 over x plus 5. Uh, we have been asked to sketch the graph of y equals 1 over f of x, and hence solve 1 over f of x is less than or equal to 0. Now, um, what you could do, uh, but I probably wouldn't advise it, uh, is to go exactly along the lines that we have been doing, uh, sketch the original function, and then do the reciprocal graph, okay, uh, using the um, information that we've gathered and the way that we've uh, developed that through the uh, previous videos. Now, the reason why I wouldn't do that is because, well, 1 over f of x uh, is just going to be 1 over this, which is x plus 5 over x minus 3. So the question is, why would I bother sketching the original function when I could just as easily sketch the y equals 1 over x function from that? Okay, so you've really got to use your head on this. The, there's, no, there's no point me sketching that one and then using that one to sketch that when I could just go and straight off sketch from that. Okay, so using our knowledge of how to sketch this type of graph, we can immediately identify it's got a vertical asymptote at x equals 3 because that's when the denominator is 0. Okay, our we can also identify where it crosses the x-axis because that's when the numerator is 0 at minus 5. Now, is there a horizontal asymptote? Um, yes, there is. Now, this can be identified by dividing top and bottom by x. So we're going to get 1 plus 5 over x over 1 take away 3 over x. And as x gets larger and larger and larger in either positive or negative direction, 5 over x and 3 over x will tend to 0, and then this will tend to 1 over 1, which is 1. And so there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. Now, how about where it crosses the y-axis? Well, that's when x is 0, and so that would be 5 over minus 3, so minus 5 thirds. So something like that. And so the curve must look like this in order to satisfy those two bits of information and tend towards that horizontal asymptote. And this one, this part of the graph will be up there. OK? So then this question is, hence solve 1 over f of x is less than or equal to 0. Well, where is it below the x-axis? Well, it's below it there for that portion. So it is equal to 0 at minus 5. So we're including minus 5, but not 3. It can't be at 3. So 1 over f of x is less than or equal to 0 when x is greater than or equal to minus 5, but less than 3. Okay, And that solves the problem.